Hi, how are you? Today we are going to do something very, very interesting. Okay, so you have a list of uh, names or your colleagues that you want to send a birthday email to uh, whenever the birthday arrives. Okay, send an automatic email to them. Okay, so you have the email address, you have a subject, you have the birthdays, you have a message, and you know send. Uh, you have two options. One is you every time you uh, each day you can just check whether the birthday over here is today, and then you can send an email. Okay, manually, or you can rely on the macro. Okay, and when the macro file like this opens, okay, the macro will send them an email automatically. But of course, uh, the macro will just create an email and you verify the email and then you send out. Okay, so which option do you like? Okay, do you like the first option or the second option? So what we want is, okay, so the, for the second option, what we want is, we want something like that. Okay, so for example, if uh, Megan and Nigel, their birthdays are uh, falls on 1st June, which is today. Okay, then, okay, you can ask, you can ask Excel. To create or uh, if you ask VBA to create or macro to create two emails like this, okay, and then you just click send. Okay, alternatively, you can just um, check the birthday manually every day and you can create the emails. Okay, so I prefer the second option. Okay, so um, if you the question is if you like the second option, which is to create the automatic emails, okay, so the question is how do you do this? Okay, so we, we can ask uh, right now in the world of AI, we can ask ChatGPT, right? Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in and ask ChatGPT to help us. So I have some instruction over here. Okay, let me unhide this. Okay, so the first thing is, okay, you need to create a chat GPT account. Okay, once you have the chat GPT account, okay, you can copy the instructions over here to ask chat GPT to write a macro that will create a birthday email, okay, automatically using Outlook when the workbook opens and the birthday arrives, but do not send it. Okay, uh, I think you don't want to send the email automatically. Okay, okay so for me personally, I want to uh, look at the email first before I send. But if you want to uh, send the email automatically uh, using macro, that's fine. Okay, so you tell uh, ChatGPT the instructions that this column is the name, or the names, uh, this column is the email address, this column is the subject title, this column is the birthday, and this column is the message. Okay, so without further ado, Let's dive right in into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to create this email. Okay, don't worry. The this Excel file will be available for you to download in the description below. Okay, so that you do not need to uh write the script. Okay, write the script to ChatGPT. Okay, so this file will be available for you in the description link in the description below. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and okay, let's go to ChatGPT and paste the message. Okay, so I'm gonna click send. So let's wait for ChatGPT to provide the answers. So as you can see, okay, there will there'll be some instructions for you to follow later. Okay, so to implement this macro in the workbook, follow these steps. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, finish. Okay, so the first thing is after we write, uh, we ask ChatGPT to write this um, macro, right? Okay. <coughs> so it says, okay, you can copy the code. Okay. Where do you paste the code? Okay, follow these steps. Press alternate F11 to open the VBA editor. Okay. Uh, in the project explorer, we don't find the workbook that contains the data. Alright. Okay, right click on the workbook and choose insert module. This will create a new module. Paste the provided VBA code into the module. Save and close the VBA editor. Save your workbook as a macro enable file format. Alright. Okay, so we are going to, co going to copy this. Okay. Um, and also it says that whenever you open the workbook and the current date matches a birthday the list and outlook email will be automatically created with a specified specified recipient subject and message body the email will be displayed for you to review and send manually okay so let's go ahead and copy All right copy and the first step is to press control uh, sorry alternate f11 as a shortcut okay to the vba editor it says insert a module okay and you paste the code here paste the code here right and then you save you save and you exit and you save the file okay so uh let's test this okay so right now okay this video is on this video is created on uh first june okay let's create let's change this birthday to first june and let's uh close this excel file macro macro, macro file and open it again to see if uh email is created okay so let's change to first june all right and then we save okay so when we open this file okay uh an outlook email is expected to be created okay so let's close this file right Okay, let's open the file. This is this is the file. Okay, so let's open this file and let's wait. All right, enable content. Oh, something happened. It oh, didn't no. read the email. Okay, so let's go back. So what happened over here? Okay, so let's go back to Chat GPT and ask. The email is not 
created. Okay. So that's not the problem. So it does not work. It is not working. Okay. It is not working. Please replace the code with the following. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. So let me let me copy the code again. Okay. And open up the editor and delete the code and paste and save. Alright, let's save this again. And let's exit. And double click. Sorry, I press enter. And not oh, no. Hmm. Okay, let me. Okay, so we just start. Okay. Approach. The video is not created. Okay. Blah blah blah. Ensure that. Blah blah blah. Okay, in the reference box, scroll down and ensure that Microsoft Outlook object is like library check. Okay. So let me do this. Okay. F11, alternate F11 again. Okay, tools, reference. And. Okay, let's click this. Okay, let's save. Save. And save and exit again. Okay, let me just load the file again. Oh, nothing happens. Okay, oh, let's no. go back to the editor. Okay, so we have this. Okay, this is under module, but I suppose this should be under this workbook over here. Okay, so let's ask this question whether it's under module or under this workbook. Okay. Is it under module or this workbook? Hmm. Alright, so the VBA code should be placed in the this workbook module, not a separate module. This is how you modify the code. Blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, so we put the code under this workbook. Okay? So let's go back. Okay, we copy. We copy this. And we go to this workbook. View code, let me paste. Alright, let me save. Let me close. Okay, let's see whether it works. Alright. Alright, okay. okay. So now we have this email. Okay, so you can type your email and then you send. Okay, so let's try this again. So now. So let's update this to 1st June. Okay. Let's load this again. Okay, so this time we expect three emails, right? So we should have three emails. Okay, so we have one. Oh, what happened? Let's go back to chat GPT and ask. I have three emails. I have a Three birthdays on the same day. Uh, only one email is created. Oh, the code I provided earlier is designed to create only for one email. Okay? See? And if they are multiple birthdays on the same day, okay, they only create one email. Okay, so this is updated code. Alright, let's hope it works this time. Okay, let's close this. Now, and we go back to the file. Alternate F11. Okay. And we did this and we place the new code. Save. Close. And we save again. Exit. And it's not true. Okay, so let's see. Then we have three emails this time. Right? Okay, three emails, please. One. We have three emails. Right, we have three emails. Okay, so what you have learned over here is uh, if you have a list, not just birthday list, there it can be any list, it can be a welcome uh, new joiners, welcome new staff, the uh, new welcome new staff a list. So you can have a list of 50 to 100 to, or 200. And you just keep all the details over here and you key in the birthday or whatever day and the, the joining date. Okay, and you can ask ChatGPT to help you to create this. But the problem is, okay, if you ask ChatGPT, you might not get the uh, final answer. 
Okay, so in this case, so what happened over here is uh, ChatGPT gives you a code and it didn't it didn't uh, create an email. Okay, so we had to ask some questions and we, we had to probe a bit further and uh, if you have a little bit of VBA code, you can ask ChatGPT whether it's uh, to, the code to be placed under the module or under this workbook. So ChatGPT asks you to place the code under the module but not this workbook. But actually, you should place a code under this workbook. Okay, so this is the uh, there are pros and cons using ChatGPT. Okay, but as a, as a start, you can use that. Okay, so I okay, hope you like this uh, video over here. Okay, uh, I'll provide this file in the des description below. Okay, so do you find this video useful? Okay, if you find this video useful, please give a thumbs up and leave me a comment and say yes, this is useful. Okay, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I will give I will produce uh, even better videos for you next time. All right. Okay, so until then, see you. Bye.